Hey folks, Jim Thomas here, Fitness Management and Consulting, and welcome back to our channel today. It's good to have you, and a special welcome to all of our members. It's great to have you uh, here at the channel today. And if you're new to the channel, uh, if you're finding us for that very first time, you know, welcome to y'all. And uh, while you're here, please consider subscribing, hit that like button, and to learn more about me and my company and how we can help grow your business and take you to that next level, you know, check out those links below. Now, with that said, our topic for you today, it's the stages of the gym sales cycle. It's the stages of the gym sales cycle. And so I've got, I got seven stages here for you that I want to talk about. But I want you to think about here, you know, we're trying to build this pipeline, okay? And the pipeline has to be full. And the pipeline has to be full with people who are at varying stages of this cycle, okay? You might have a full pipeline, but you're, all, you're, you're totally in the prospecting phase. You know, we need people in the closing the sale phase as well, okay? So as I'm going through this, think about your current lead database. You know, think about your current pipeline and where are we at in this gym sales cycle. This is why, this is why it's so Im important, so crucial to be constantly adding new leads, you know, to our database, adding new leads, you know, to our CRM, getting referrals at point of sale, getting floor referrals, you know, landing pages, you know, getting us leads, you know, going out and prospecting, corporate leads, um, you know, generating new leads every day. Okay. I mean, if you're an individual salesperson, you know, consider a quota of maybe 10 new leads a day. Okay. 10 new leads a day. You're working 20 days. You're adding 200 new leads. And so now as you start to work all these, they're going to be in various stages of this sales cycle. So think about that. I'm going to go through this sales cycle, but then think about where you're at with all of your leads on this. Okay. Some have to be ready to buy. Some we're just getting them started. Okay, then a whole bunch in the middle. So number one is prospecting. Okay, and this has to be ongoing. Okay, you might be in, in, the, in the closing the sales stage. We're signing people up and signing people up and signing people up. If we're not prospecting and getting new leads, we're going to have a real dry spell in here at some point. So the first step of this sales cycle is prospecting. You know, how are we getting new leads? You know, like I mentioned, point of sale referrals, floor referrals, former members, um, you know, landing pages, uh, going out to businesses, uh, corporate sales. I mean, those are some examples and there's many more, but those are some examples of how we can be prospecting, you know, to be getting new leads on a daily basis. Number two, making contact. So now we've got all these leads. Okay. Now we need to make contact with them. Okay. So that's, that's stage two of the sales cycle, making contact. Some will get a hold of quicker than others. Some it'll take numerous attempts to get a hold. Some will get a hold of right away and they'll start moving through, you know, the sales cycle. Okay. But every day we're bringing in new people, right? That's the key. Okay. Uh, number three, we're qualifying these leads. You know, we're qualifying. I mean, what's an unqualified lead? Uh, you know, maybe they're just uh, physically unable, you know, to use the facility. You know, that'd be a person to be unqualified, right? You know, a lot of times people think, well, they don't live in the area, so they're unqualified. That's not always true. Maybe it is many times. Not always true. You know, there's a difference between qualifying and prejudging, right? And even the qualifying, you know, I like to look at qualifying, and I'll call it sometimes checking their temperature. You know, are you on a workout program right now? Oh yeah, I do stuff at home. Okay, great. Do you normally like to do it, you know, first thing in the morning or do you like to do it, you know, last thing at the end of the day? Okay, I'm going to start to qualify. Do you have someone you work out with or you like, you prefer doing it by yourself? So I'm kind of qualifying them, you know, based on interest and, and different things that they may want to do. So we're going through that. Number four on our sales cycle, okay, it's the, the nurturing aspect of the leads. And by nurturing, kind of what I'm referring to here is we're working to maintain interest and maintain desire. You know, we want to understand, you know, what their goals are, why those goals are important. You know, we're offering some motivation. Uh, we're helping them, you know, belief that they can actually, you know, do some of this. But we're going to nurture these leads, okay? Uh, number five, now we're going to invite them into the club. That's going to, become, that's going to happen. But now we're going to present our membership prices, Okay, we're going to present the program. We'll give them a tour, show them around. Here's what it costs to get started. 
Okay, so now we're in that asking for the sale uh, portion of it. And the, the next stage here is overcoming objections. You know, maybe half your folks will join first time, others yet to overcome these objections over a period of time, perhaps. And so we're overcoming objections. And then finally, it's actually closing the sale. Okay, and then we get referrals, we're into prospecting, we're back into it, right? So prospecting, making contact, qualifying your leads, checking their temperature a little bit, nurturing, maintaining interest and desire, okay, presenting our offer, okay, overcoming objections, and then closing the sale. And so seven stages. You have to have leads, Okay, you have to have people we're talking to that are in all stages of this. If you ever get too bogged down in one stage, that's when you get into trouble. And the biggest issue is we get into this closing the sale. You might have a lot of folks that were signing up, a lot of folks that were signing up, and we start to neglect the prospecting. We start to neglect the making contact, start to neglect the making over, and now we've got a big gap in there. That's the big thing you want to look at. So the seven stages of the gym sales cycle, take a look at it. You know, are we following those steps? Are we pretty close to that? And how, what, how are we doing in getting more leads into this database? So folks, my name is Jim Thomas. My company is Fitness Management and Consulting. Uh, if you've not yet done so, please consider hitting that subscribe button, hit the like button. And to learn more about me and my company, you know, please check out the links below. And we'll look forward to seeing y'all on that next video.